Shenvies, my name is Shenny and welcome back to Shenny TV. Hit the intro. <laughs> that will help you guys in school or whatever some of you guys have already started school some of you guys have not started school so if you are in school or if you have not started school as yet you can still watch this video it doesn't matter make sure you get your books your pens and pencils your best because welcome to my classroom eh? welcome to my classroom welcome to my class i'm just gonna get straight into this video and show you guys what to do and what not to do what to know and what not to know so let's go let's get it okay so i have my book here as always for my video my unpopular opinions when i was doing i should tell you guys that i have my book i have my book again so i'm gonna tell you all the tea i'm gonna tell you all the facts no printer and that's period so the first thing i have here is always be prepared and know your classes why this is important because you don't want to look like you're new in my school you can tell like if you're a senior or if you're a junior you don't want to be known as a junior so you want to know your classes and you want to know where to go we have um what is it called orientation this is where the um they introduce you to around the school, they take you around the school, they show you, okay, this is this, this is the lab, this is where you do this or whatever. But because of the, I don't want to say it because I don't want YouTube to do anything to my video or whatever, but because of the virus, I don't know if they still did the orientation or whatever because I'm a senior, so sis, I, I don't know, but I think they did it, I don't know, but... They do that in order for you to know where to go or whatever. So it's always important to know where you're going, when is your class, what class you have because you don't want to be late because you just came to school like you knew and the first impression that the teacher have on you is you're late. Like that's not a good impression. So you always want to be early to your classes, know where to go and yeah, you're going to be straight. The next one we have is don't get unnecessary school supplies. Like, if you know you don't need, okay, if you know you don't need a zap, <laughs> just saying, like, if you know you don't need a zap, why would you get a zap? Like, know you're overloading your bag, sis. Know you're overloading your bag. No, your back is heavy. I know your back is gonna hurt you because you're getting unnecessary school supplies that you don't need. So, guys, you wanna spend your money on school supplies that you need. You need a book, you need a pen. Stuff like that you need for example okay don't spend your money on perfume when you know you need a book for class and you don't have it like that doesn't make any sense so you want to buy necessary supplies necessary things that you need okay the next one is be independent help yourself in the class don't depend on the teacher be independent help yourself in class and don't depend on the teacher do you guys hear that like do you guys some of you guys hear that because it have some students in the class they want the teacher to do everything for them oh teacher help me with it like the teacher is not going to help you for all the rest of your life you know you know you have to do it yourself the teacher is not going to help you so you pay attention know what to do and do it like be independent do it yourself don't ask the teacher to do everything for you she's not going to do everything for you he's not going to do everything for you they're not your mom like you grow up the next one we have here is everyone is not going to be nice to you and that's just period like if they don't like you they don't like you so what if they don't like you they don't like you so what they're not helping you get better grades they're not helping you with anything so why should you care if they like you or if they don't like you you go to school to learn and that's it like why should you care they're gonna say things that you may not like 
They might say, oh, your edges ain't laid, your breath smell bad, you smell stink and, but if, if you smell stink, you smell bad, I got a video for that coming up, cause that's a serious problem, like, we don't want our babies to be smelling stink while I'm here, no. So I'm gonna do a video for that, if you guys want a video on how to do one on one personal hygiene, just say in the comment below, not everybody finna be nice to you, Sarah finna be saying something in the class, oh, look at Bob Z's. Her hair is not even fixed, right? Several shut up. Like, nobody's speaking to you. I'm trying to do my work. Like, don't study them. It's going to be all right. You don't have to. Don't do all of that. Don't get any drama. Don't. And don't fight a girl because she tell you that her weave's not straight. Her teeth not straight. And you should care why. Once your mom likes you, your dad likes you, your family likes you. It doesn't matter. But anyways, the next one we have to talk about is speak up for yourself. If you don't like something or somebody is doing you something, you don't sit down there and absorb. Like, speak up for yourself. Like, if the teacher is doing something on the board and you don't understand, be like, Sir, ma'am, I don't understand this. Can you please break it down? Can you please explain it for me? Don't be all cute and pretty and be like, and then when the exam comes or the test comes, you don't know what to do. Like, who is benefiting from that? No one. So if you have something that you don't understand or somebody is troubling you in class or whatever the matter may be the situation speak up for yourself you have a mouth god gave you a mouth speak open it please next we're gonna be be on time be on time for school don't be late like if you're running late a couple days or whatever whatever it's okay but for you to be late all the day What's gonna happen if you have to go to someone's job and you're late, you're gonna get fired. You go to another job, you're late, you get fired. No one's gonna want you to work for them. No, you're gonna be broke. No, you can't buy edge control to do your hair. You can't get lashes and lip gloss clothes because you're broke. You can't pay your bills because you're broke. So, they're teaching you in school to be early. So, in life, you'll be early for whatever job you have to do or whatever you have to do. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, okay? So just be on time. It's not that hard. Be on time to school. Be on time to class. Be on time. Matter of fact, be on time for everything you have in your life. Don't be late. Like, you might be late. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be late. You might be late. But to be late all the time, like, it's not a good habit. So just make sure that you be on time, okay, sis? So, the next one we have is as the same thing I said, everyone is not your friend. Like I said before, everyone's not gonna be nice to you. Everyone is not your friend. You're gonna have some friends that are loyal, you're gonna have some friends that are fake, snakes, right? That all kind of people out there in this world. So you gotta know your head game, you gotta know who for you, who for not who not for you. But you finna know cause God put people in your life and they have different timestamps. Always remember that. Always remember that. Not everybody gonna be here for long. Cause I have some friends that I went with primary school and I don't even talk to half of them and I'm nearly finishing high school. The next one I have is don't try to be popular, want to fight everybody, want to be better and all that. Like it's not cute first of all if you're a girl, if you're a boy, it's not cute neither. Like you want to be coming in the class um, and what you gotta say about me and what she looking at me at that. And what she gotta say and uh, first of all your breath thing second of all you're disrupting the person's class when you want to be all bad and and bully and i hate bullies like no one could ever bully me like i'm, I'm punching your face okay don't try to be popular if you can't afford um Sketchers or whatever the shoe's name. Sketcher, sketcher. If you can't afford sketchers and your mom don't have it like that, you just don't have it like that. Don't start drama and don't spread rumors. Don't be the kind of student or classmate or whatever you want. Don't be the kind of person overall that be like, okay, don't you hear that they say that um Barbzino do this and that with George in the bedroom? Don't you don't be that person like that's that's not cute like don't do that like if you heard something shut your mouth no one asks you nothing first of all no one act like people who rap no one if you think that you're gonna get friends 
by talking about someone else no sis like that's not cute you don't bad talk people to get friends like who does that that's not cute don't do it don't talk about people don't spread rumors it's not cute don't spread rumors bro because sometimes somebody might say something that's not even true and you go around saying something that somebody said that's not true now you look bad next we have is make sure your hygiene is on point as i said if you guys want a video i'm gonna do the video to go down in your comments and say Shani, we want a video on hygiene but i'm gonna help you guys because y'all my babies we're not gonna be stinking up in this place no we're not gonna be doing that but y'all make sure your hygiene is on point make sure when you go to school your hair is combed make sure that your teeth is brushed that no odor is coming out of your mouth make sure that your arm is not musty you're not musty make sure that you bathe that you smell good so the next one is treat people how you want to be treated treat people how you want to be treated okay guys so if you want someone to share your pencil with you or to share your notes with you when you miss a class when someone misses a class don't be missing classes now and be expecting that people finna share their notes with you but if you miss a class a day like you couldn't make it to school or you couldn't make it to the class like you want people to share their notes with you right so when someone doesn't make it to class and they be like okay can i please borrow your notes can i please borrow your pen your pencil you share with them because you want them to share with you just be kind to others and then if they don't be kind to you that's that's not nothing like it's just not nothing you don't have to hurt up your head for that oh i shared my pen with her and she didn't share like that's childish like but just be kind to people and just be kind just be nice don't be a meanie just be nice just be nice. Next one is don't be an attention seeker. So don't be the person inside of the classroom that other people in the classroom want to learn and you're in the classroom making a whole set of noise and disturbing the teacher and the teacher wants to teach and you're making a whole set of noise for what? What are you getting out of that? Don't be like making fun of the teacher because of the end of, at the end of the day the teacher has to help you don't disrespect the teacher because it's not worth it just let the teacher teach and don't be interrupting the teacher just let her teach after the class is finished if you want to run your mouth you can run your mouth but when the class is going on let the teacher teach and yeah and listen and learn because other people want to learn and your parents send you to learn so i guess you should let the teacher teach right but the last and final one is guys make sure to have fun in high school because that's the most fun you could get like is in high school high school is very fun yes it's a lot of work like you, you come there to work because you want to be something in life but just have fun keep yourself out of drama keep out of fight have fun high school is not high school musical so don't be getting that mindset in your head that when you go to school you're gonna be dancing on church because we don't do that just don't just don't just take it out of your head bro because high school is not high school musical high school is a fun place high school is fun i'm gonna finish with high school soon high school was fun for me so far and i'm gonna have more fun in high school but just make sure you do your work and have fun and guys that's the end of today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe and if you want a post notification shout out in the next video all you have to do is be the first one to comment you can comment anything you want you just have to da -da -da. Well, comment comment anything you want and you will get a shout out in my next video but for today's post notification shout out in today's video goes to things gonna be right here gonna be right here and yeah if you want a shout out all you just gotta do is comment something when my video drops and you're gonna get a shout out okay babies but guys that's the end of today's video i hope you learned something don't let people bully you don't get in the fights blah 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 blah, blah. i hope you learn i hope you learn okay and i hope you guys enjoy your school if you're going to a new school or if you're returning to school i hope you guys enjoy your school okay and make sure to keep your head on make sure to do your work okay because in the end you gotta do you and you gotta provide for you because not your mom is gonna not be here all the rest of your life and your daddy's not gonna be here all the rest of your life so get your head on and do your work and do you okay and i hope you guys enjoy this video love you babies